look like you've already had your tasting. <laughs> So we're here at the Scotch Whiskey Experience in Edinburgh, and I really don't know what to expect, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, I think it starts with like a Disney World style ride, explaining how they make scotch, and then we'll get to do some tastings. Fresh water is, after all, a vital ingredient. This is the largest collection of unopened Scotch whiskey, all from the same person. Good. <laughs> the Highland one, which is the Dean Stenberg, you know, right here, yeah. One block in, right at the top in the middle, there's a bottle of sugar. Okay. You're going to start with the one to your left hand side. All the way down to Isla, left to right. Everything you're drinking is on the sheet that has been provided. Okay, so I've got four different whiskeys here for the tasting. The first is from the Lowlands region. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a citrus notes, creamy. Second is from the Highlands. It's got kind of candied fruits and vanilla and toffee. toffee. Uh, the third one is from Speyside region. It's kind of sweet and mellow with some pineapples and pears and citrus. And then the final one is from the Islay region, and it's kind of smoky with more peat flavor. So Rachel only did the silver tour, so she got one tasting during the tour. I decided to do the gold so I could try out some different uh, scotch whiskeys from different regions. So these are all single malts, um, and they're each from different regions. So the first one I've got is from the Lowlands, uh, and we learned how to properly taste our whiskey. It starts by observing the colors. This one's a light kind of amber honey. It's quite beautiful. Then we smell it. And the first smell is really a lot of the alcohol, but the second smell is where you start to get some of the flavor. Um, and then we take the taste. So the first taste is going to be super on the alcohol. The second taste is where you start to get more of the flavor. So let's take one sip. Let's get a bite. Second taste. Yeah, it's a really good flavor. What'd you think? More of a more of like a bite. I had that floral one before. So now we have the one from Islay or Islay. We're not quite sure. We don't remember what it said. Uh, so this one's going to be a very smoky, peaty whiskey. So it's not super dark. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, yeah. It smells like a house fire or a campfire. A campfire is all that shines like a house fire. It does smell good. Yeah. Actually, really nice. Very smooth. Oh, yeah. Feel you can taste that smoke in the aftertaste. Kind of lingers. Very good. All right, you want to go try? Mm -hmm. it smells straight up like smoke. Like wow. Ooh. All right. Weirdly smoother than I expected, but still tastes like a campfire at the same time. So I like it if you just really want a smoky flavor. I think for me, the space side was my favorite. Super smooth, like you could, you could drink a lot of it. <laughs> And maybe my second favorite was the Highland, but this actually, I don't know, might be tied for second. I don't know. I'd say I, I don't know, I really enjoyed them all. Uh, I maybe like the Highland best, 
And then maybe a tie between the lowland and the islet? Oh, no. A lowland and the bay side. And then maybe the, the islet, but I don't know. I liked them all. <laughs> like all great experiences, it ends in a gift shop. <laughs> They're really taking a lot of cues from Disney. Only this one has a bit of a different fare. We have just experienced the Scotch whiskey experience here in Edinburgh, and I'd say uh, it was great. It starts off with a dark ride type uh, experience where you see how they make whiskey, uh, followed by a kind of telling of the different regions of Scotland and how it affects the flavor of the whiskey. And then there's a tasting where you get to taste a single malt or blended whiskey from one of the regions of Scotland. There's two different kinds of tours. Uh, there's the silver tour or the gold tour. So Rachel did the silver tour and got one tasting. I did the gold, so we got to taste five different whiskeys from around Scotland. And I'd say the experience was, was just overall really great. The, the silver experience was 19 pounds. The gold, I think, was 32. And it was just definitely worth it. Another thing I forgot to mention is they also give you this nice, uh, cool little whiskey glass. So another good part of the deal. That's a lot of bacon. It looks really good. I'm a little concerned about my health. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth passed away yesterday, and we are down by the palace. There's obviously a, a lot of flowers and cards, uh, thanking her for her service, honoring her with thoughts and prayers. Really just touching to see how much she impacted, especially the people of the United Kingdom or other places around the Commonwealth, how she was an inspiration to them. Obviously, it's a very sad time here. Um, I've been surprised myself just how moved. Um, I think to be in this place where so many people are mourning um, and thankful for her, what she's done in their lives, for this country, thankful for her faith, um, and all the ways that she served throughout 70 years. Our mood is a bit more somber now. So after our whiskey tasting, we got some lunch and then we stopped by Holyrood Palace and paid our respects to the queen. She passed away yesterday. Uh, but we wanted to hike Arthur's seat before we left Scotland. This is an ancient volcano that overlooks the city of Edinburgh. So it's supposed to be a pretty quick hike, 30 minutes or so. Which is good, because our flight leaves in about four hours. So we're gonna hike up to the top, check out the city, then head over to the airport. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. <laughs> Don't jinx us. windy out here. <laughs> it is really windy! <laughs> no idea 
if you can hear me, but once you get to the top of Arthur's seat, there's like a million paths. And I think you just have to pick one. I hope it gets you to the top. We made it! We made it! <laughs> to catch the bus. Bad choices sometimes. Can we make the bus to make the flight? We will see. So I think we made it. We've been hiking a lot. We haven't been jogging. The last time we ran like that, was in Croatia when we were in the national park way past closing. Um, I always say I'm a faster runner than Zach, but he did a lot better than I did today, especially with whiskey glasses in his pocket. <laughs> check out the Aspire Lounge. Hopefully scrounge up some food before our flight and maybe even some scotch. Hello. Uh, is that one? I have to tell you we're closing at 8. Okay. So just to let you know, okay? That's fine. Thank you. And is it just yourself? Uh, no, myself and my wife. So we've got some naan, some macaroni and cheese, and some uh, chicken curry with rice. It's quite good. To the queen. To the queen. 